Future Meta students strive to be leaders. And now, the news. Good morning, Country Meadow. Welcome to Field Trip Friday. AKA, it is Field Trip Friday because first graders are going to Ship Shawana and fifth graders are going to Camp Potawatomi. Woohoo! We have. 11, 11 more days, days of, of school, school left. Final countdown! <laughs> we have highlights from minor math. Watch. Saturday at the high school, there's going to be a Relay for Life fundraiser for cancer from 9 to all day long. You can dunk Mr. Bigelow, Mr. Wessel, Mr. Cochran into a tank, so be there. It'll be fun. Mm-hmm. Hi, Mr. Bigelow. Is it true that you're going to get dunked over Saturday or on Saturday? Actually, it is true that I'm going to be in the, at the dunk tank on Saturday for the Relay for Life. But as far as getting wet and getting dunked, I'm really not too worried about that. Especially, I hear, like, some of the students here at Country Meadow and even some of the teachers think that they can get me all wet. But I know how they throw, so I'm not real worried about that. So I'll probably be as dry as I am right now, even then. So, But that would be my challenge is for those of you that think that you have very good aim to come on out and support the Relay for Life. It is something that I truly believe in. I have actually two of my sisters that are actually going through some different situations with uh, cancer right now and it and it deeply affects me as I'm sure that it affects many other people so I would encourage you if you do have the opportunity and think that you have a good arm and a good aim then to come on out and see if you can get me wet thank you today's lunch is teriyaki chicken fried rice peas and mandarin oranges. And don't forget that delicious box of milk. Today's weather is a high of 65 and a low of 40 and a 0% chance of rain. Woohoo! Whoopee whoopee! No rain! We have highlights from the trap meet. When I ran, I felt like I was gonna pass out. You're still gonna pass out? No. But still watch. <laughs>
Clever Reading Program Pizza Party. Watch! <laughs> Mrs. Tingley, can you give us a little bit of info on the summer reading? Absolutely. We have summer reading packets that are going home next week, so be looking for those, everyone. We also have summer math packets. That's going to be a paper that you can fill out your reading and your math for the summer. Some of you may have seen yesterday we had, or the other day, we had some students up eating pizza in the cafeteria. That was the summer reading pizza party that we have in the spring. Um, students that read 15 books throughout the summer, or 15 chapters if it's a really long chapter book. They can earn special prizes. You can earn some things if you read five books, if you read 10 books, and if you read 15 books. So you can earn up to three different prizes in the summer for reading. And then we also added math this year. So if you do um, dream box or math games, you do 30 minutes per week for, you can do four weeks, five weeks, or six weeks. And again, you can earn up to three prizes for that. You bring your papers back in the fall, and you can join the celebrations that we have and get some of those rewards. Are you going to do some summer reading, guys? Probably. Thank you. All right. This is Hawk News. Signing With your very own Hawk News team. For a country that a students drive to be leaders. And, and now the news. Teachers, we got our eyes on you. You guys need to make sure you stay away from things like that.